hello dear welcome to this channel in this video i am going to show you how to backup and restore your database in visual studio without sql server management studio today many developers don't use and don't install sql server management studio because you can do everything on your sql server using visual studio you can create database you can create tables manage your tables manage your databases view your table update edit and modify your tables for some of the tasks you have here graphical user interface you have options but for those tasks that you don't see options you can do it using sql query if you don't see this go to view and then click on sql server object explorer you see these servers here because when i installed and configured sql server i also added this user to sql server so this user has access to my sql server but if you don't see it you can add your sql server by clicking on add sql server and then here you have three options local network and azure under the local you again see your servers if you don't see here any options it means that this user the user that you are locked in does not have access to your server and then if you have a SQL server on network uh, somewhere else you can connect it you can also connect it to servers uh, in the cloud for example in azure so if you see options here you can just click on it this is the sql server name and then choose the authentication type you have windows authentication you have sql server authentication and then you have the other stuff if you allowed the windows authentication during the configuration of sql server you can just select it windows authentication so windows authentication means that when you're logged in in your machine on your computer you are automatically also logged in to your SQL server and then connect it but if you selected the SQL server authentication you can choose here SQL server authentication provide username password and then connect it but if you don't see these options here you can go to view click on server explorer here click on connect it to database and depending on what type of database you have the data source you can select it microsoft sql server oracle database or etc for microsoft sql server it is mostly microsoft sql client data provider for sql server and then continue here give your sql server name and then again choose the authentication type you can test the connection and then if everything is okay click on ok after that when everything is okay you will see your server here under sql server so this one is my sql server then you can expand it databases here i have two databases under this test database i have two tables so products here are two products and then users here are two test users to back up your database right click on your database and then new query it is important that you see the database name here type here backup database and then the name of your database test db and then to disk the location on your computer for example i want to store this backup on d drive here just copy this and then the name of your backup test db dot b a k is the extension for that it uses single code 
not double quote and then go so it is very important that the correct database is selected here that you gave the correct database name as well here and then click on execute now i delete this database and try to restore the database from this file so delete database and then also delete backup and restore history information for database because when you create a database the sql server also creates backup and some history information and etc it is good to also remove those stuff when you remove or delete your database okay cannot drop database because it is currently in use refresh and delete again close visual studio open visual studio again now the database is deleted refresh it right click on your server and then new query and then type here restore database the name of your database test db and then instead of to disk just write from disk and here the location and go query executed successfully so let us see now you see that the database is back it is restored expanded let us see the tables let us see the data view data nice view data that's it guys i hope it was helpful thank you so much for watching and have great times